Today is August the 28th, 2024. I've got something that I want to show you today that is, uh, I think it's going to surprise you. A couple of three weeks ago, something I don't know how it got in my head. Somebody started talking about EL-34s and the British sound. And I said, okay, what does that really mean? Well, look at these two beauties right here. Speaking of British, made in Great Britain, two beautiful... I want to drop them here. Here, I got to get somewhere where I can show them to you. Two beautiful uh, EL-34s, made by Mullard. Uh, labeled Dynaco. Let's see, it's hard for me to see them. They say 46 over 30 and um, 44 over 30. So I would call that a reasonably good matched pair. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do two things with this. First of all, this is a really nice Williamson design amplifier. Creates a lot of power, especially if I uh, change out that uh, vacuum tube rectifier, which is actually a 5V3, which is a higher current type 5U4. If I swap it out with a uh, solid state rectifier, which this little guy right here puts out a whole lot more power, but we don't need to do that. It does a beautiful 50 watts. Right now, what I've got in it is these uh, KT88s, these electroharmonic ones. Just got a, bi a bias balance here and a, and a bias uh, uh, adjust back here so I can set the, the level. And then I balance it uh, right here. Set it for 60 millivolts, which is uh, 60 milliamps per tube. And what we're going to do, and I want to show you here, is we're going to look at the harmonic profile of beam power tubes like the 6550 KT88 which is the American version and then the uh, the EL34s are actual real pentodes I think everybody knows the difference these pentodes have three distinct uh, wire grids in them a beam power tube has uh, two grids. It has the control grid and the screen grid. And then it has beam forming plates for the suppressor grid that are internally connected to the cathode. These are actually not internally connected to anything. They come out of pin one. That's just some technical stuff that, well, whatever. Okay, now here, here's what we're going to do. We're going to just run this thing up at 50 watts and look at its harmonic profile at about 1% distortion. Okay, and we're also going to use this guy while he's still working very, very nicely, this 3588. I mean, this has got to be the cat's meow of uh, audio spectrum analyzer. It goes from 5 hertz to 50 kilohertz. See if I put it in 5 per division and I got 10 divisions, it goes from 0 to 50 kilohertz. So we can see a lot of harmonics. And I'm also going to be using some of these uh, PC-based FFT-type spectrum analyzers, two of them. One of them is called Spectra Plus RT, and the other one is called, uh, oh goodness, what is the name of the other one? The other one's called, I um, can't remember the name of it, um, True RTA. They're both nice. And they're, you know, PC-based stuff. You, you use a... Uh, USB type sound card. I'm using this little Behringer sound card. This is the input to it. And oscilloscope, and we'll look at that here on what. I, mean, I don't want to show you how all this stuff works. I think anybody watches my videos knows pretty much all this. This is frequency. Oh, this is uh, going to be voltage. That's voltage, blah, blah, blah. THD right there. Okay. Well, let's get started. It's been warming up for quite a while. Here. Let me show you how, how I do this. Um, balance it. Let me check it. So I want to set this for about 60 milliamps. Actually, it's right smack on. Let's check the other one. Right here. It's 59 or 60. And then we put it between the two and we balance them. Okay, it's 2 milliamps different. Okay, so we're going to, you're right here to bias balance. Right there, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna tweak it right in. Other way, 
we want to make it we want to make it right so we've got the perfect balance tubes and we got 60 milliamps per tube okay yeah, like I say, you know we set the amount with this pot back here and then we set the balance with this one KT88s my 6s and 7s driving it this is a uh, try an S152A output transformer I think it's rated at 65 watts it says from um, 7 to 50 kilohertz power level 65 watts it's a really nice one UL, uh, UL taps and all that kind of stuff okay okay hope I do this right now I'm gonna start cranking it up here see here's our sine wave I'm gonna run it up to 50 I got some lights in here that got some reflections in here which I didn't have but I do Not that there's anything special about 50 watts, but it does 50 watts very nicely. Okay, there's 50 watts. And I'm doing it at 2 kilohertz because of the, just because it's convenient. And there's our THD, less than 1%. 50 watts again. There's our nice, pretty sine wave. And there's the harmonic profile. I hope you can see that. It seems like it's a little washed out. Can you see that good? I'm going to turn off the light. There you go. That is better, isn't it? See that harmonic profile? That's it. Now that's at 5 kilohertz per division. If I put it on, I'm going to change this right here to 2. And now we get this. See that big ones are harmonic. They're just, I mean, our fundamental. Second harmonic, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. There it is. I take that to be pretty much the truth. I trust this thing. Okay, would you just kind of take a mental picture and, and see where the second, the third, the fourth, fifth. Let's look over here. Now this is a kind of flashy. I hope you can see this. I think you, yeah, you can. See, here's our fundamental right there. It's a second harmonic, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth. And I think we can have an imaginary ninth out there. So, yeah, this is 50, excuse me, 20 kilohertz over here. So that's all we can see on these. Okay, that's all we can see. 20 kilohertz. But it does a good job. It's actually doing just fine. Okay, now I'm going to put this back on five per division which we can't see on the other but we can on this one and we'll see that that's where it stops there's nothing else out there is there well one of the things we know about the so-called British sound is it's got a lot of upper harmonics in it and I didn't realize that that screen grid uh, excuse me the suppressor grid the third grid made that much difference being a grid and or a uh, beam forming plates okay Got this burned into our little brains here. Now I'm going to stop the camera and uh, I'm going to swap out the tubes. I'm going to turn the light back on. Excuse me. Start and stop the camera too many times. And I'm going to uh, turn this thing off, let it cool down, put these guys in, let it warm up for 30 minutes, whatever, and come back and do the adjustment, show you how, how they are. And then I want you to look at the harmonic profile. Nothing's changed except I'm going to change the tubes. Okay, be right back. Okay, we are swapped out and we're ready to go again. This is the balance, and you can see the balance is perfect. And the cathode current, if I can get that in there, is in this case 61, 61, 62. I was for shooting for 60 but you know line voltages vary slightly okay so we got uh, these uh, nice mullard EL 34s in and by the way let me say this before I forget you can't just willy-nilly do this don't don't pull out well here's what happened when I pulled out the KT 88s here they are 
and they were set for uh, 60 milliamps or 60 millivolts which cross a one ohm resistor 60 milli milliamps 60 millivolts across one ohm is 60 milliamps <clears throat> and I plugged these guys in the uh, the cathode current went down to about four milliamps because the bias voltage is much higher for the KT88s than it is for the EL34s. I think it's something like 35 or 38 volts for these guys and something like maybe 50, 55. These are not exact numbers, but the bias voltage is a lot higher. So when you got the bias voltage up really high, then the cathode current's gonna be really low. So if you pull out your kt 88 and plug in EL34s, it won't go up in flames. But if you did it the other way around, it would go up in flames. If you pull out EL34s and plug in KT88s, there's not going to be enough bias voltage on these things and they're going to draw a staggering amount of current and probably just blow the fuse. Now, the amplifiers that I build, I build the uh, balance and uh, the bias level back here so I have a really large range because, you know, I mean, besides wanting to build nice sounding amplifiers, I want to build experimental amplifiers too. Got to say that. So this this idea about tube rolling is you, you can't just do that. I actually made a video many years ago about that. So I won't get too deep into it again. Okay, let's do it again. Nothing has changed here except the two output tubes. Okay, I'm going to put this back on two and we're going to run this guy up. <clears throat> to 50, 50 watts again, and it, it performs just like the other one, for all practical purposes, there's our 50, 51 watts, it's hard to say it right smack on 50, there's our THD, 0.9, right under 1%, I mean, it's, it's like the same thing, huh, and you look down here, there is a difference though, and the difference is, if I remember correctly, <clears throat> on uh, the American style tube, the um, the beam power tube, the second harmonic is down here, and the third harmonic is up here. And on these EL34s, the second harmonic is higher than the third harmonics. Now that I have noticed consistently. And uh, the harmonic profile out here is somewhat different too. There's more. But wait till you see this. Now remember, look at this. Now remember a while ago when we put this thing at 5 per? Watch this. I'm just going to press the clear right so it'll start writing again. Look at all these harmonics. On the, on the, on the beam power tube, the harmonics stop right there. Can you believe that? That's why these things sound like they sound. They are harmonic crazy. See, you will, you, you'll see a slight difference here. Like I say, you, you'll see some difference between the second and the third, and, and somewhat in there. I, I, print, I made some printouts, so let me see. This says EL3450 watts. Yeah, there it is right there. This is basically, this should be the same thing we're looking at right there. Mm -hmm. But I don't think I printed out one for, uh, darn, for the 6L6. But look at that. Let me turn the lights off again. That, in my opinion, is the British sound. I'm going to say it again. The, uh, the Bing power tubes have a, the fundamental second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and then they just stop. None of this is out here. with that beam forming plate. But this is just another spiral wound grid for the suppressor grid and that's what it does. So if anybody says, well, the tubes sound different? Uh-huh. You believe that sounds different? You can bet it does. I've always known that the EL34s had a brighter sound to them. I kind of like it. And they also have that, that the second harmonic is dominant over the third in, in this EL34, and it's opposite 
the second harmonic is down here at that level, and the third harmonic dominates the uh, second in the uh, in the beam power tubes. Can't deny that, can we? So uh, I don't know. This proves a number of things. Well, it proves what I wanted it to prove. Not that I would actually try to prove anything. I just wanted to measure it. Now I know what I'm listening to. Now I know what I'm hearing in the EL34s. And secondly, while these little uh, FFT programs are pretty cool, and I like them, you know, they seem to stop at 20 kilohertz. Okay, that's that one. Then there's another one down here called a True RTA. It's nice. They're all good. They'll give you the same answer up to 20 kilohertz. Well, this thing gets there. And then we say uh, go. And there it is. See, it's telling you the same. Look, the second harmonic. See, our, our fundamental, our second harmonic is bigger than the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. Oh, look at that. Four, five, six, seven. How they're rising. Four, five, six, seven. Then eight drops off. Let's see if we see that over here. One, two, yeah. One, two. Let's see, we got one, two, let's see, the second, third, the fourth harmonic. Two, yeah, fourth harmonic, look at that. How they rise. Two, three, four, five, then boom, and it drops way off. Then we got a couple down there at the bottom. Rise up a couple down there at the bottom, and that's all we can see. But it's 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 telling you the truth. It's accurate, seems to me. I've also played around and measured the difference in, in the peaks, and, and they're close enough. They are. You know, and this is not National Institute of Technology stuff, but it, it's close enough for, uh, uh, for for us. There it is. Okay, well, I'm going to stop it here, sew these two together, and post it. I hope you enjoy this. this is, I haven't made videos in quite a while. But uh, stay safe, my friends, and thanks for watching.